All right, we've got some breaking news from Perry Sound, Ontario. The wife of celebrity businessman Kevin O'Leary has been found not guilty of careless operation of a vessel in connection to a 2019 boat crash that killed two people. Linda O'Leary's lawyer had argued the boat his client struck did not have its lights on when the late night crash agree happened and the judge agreed. The judge also rejected any suggestion that O'Leary had been drinking prior to the accident. The crash the night of August the 24th, 2019 on Lake Joseph killed a 64-year-old Florida man and a 48-year-old Ontario woman. I'm joined now by Sonia Stickman. She's a criminal defense lawyer. Sonia, what do you make of the verdict? I'm not surprised. I think it's a fair verdict. Um, remember, um, it has to be a consideration of a reasonable person. The other vessel operator pleaded guilty to not having the uh, to not having the lights on. So it's uh, difficult to say what she should have done to avoid the crash in, in the absence of the lights being on. And help us understand why the judge would reject that suggestion that O'Leary had been drinking before the accident. What significance does that hold? There's no evidence of that. Obviously, if she had some alcohol level, she wasn't charged with operation above the legal limit. Um, if she had some alcohol prior to the accident, that would suggest that she was careless in operating a motor vehicle. But there was clearly no evidence of the fact. Um, the test that was conducted after the crash that registered the alert system does not prove that she had any alcohol prior to the evidence and her prior to the crash and her testimony must have been accepted on that point where she testified that she had a drink to calm her nerves after the fact. That's consistent with the science because when a test is performed one has what's called mouth alcohol. So when you blow into the device it would register alcohol being in your body which could have been but will not tell us at what point it was consumed. So what happens next? Is this case closed? From, from the perspective of prosecutorial question, yes, absolutely. Uh, I would imagine there would be a civil lawsuit. I wonder, uh, as I'm not a civil lawyer, but I presume that this, uh, the standard usually in civil law is different from regulatory or criminal law offenses. Um, but it definitely would be open. A finding in a, in a regulatory court will not... Um, will not in any way stop the, uh, the ability of a civil lawsuit. So I wouldn't so be surprised. So who would be suing the, who? The, uh, the family of the, of the victims would be suing Ms. O'Leary for right. damages, financial damages. For financial damages. And, and how strong would their case be, given the not guilty verdict um, for Linda O'Leary? So as I said, the guilty verdict in this case would not affect the civil verdict, um, but I think the same facts guide the question. And the question in the in this court was, was did she breach any kind of reasonable person's behavior? And the question in civil court would be whether or not she breached any kind of reasonable duty there um, in causing the wrongful death. And so. I would imagine that it would be an uphill battle given the factual findings made here, even though they will not directly affect it. They definitely color the lawyer's perspective who will assess whether or not a lawsuit is uh, has any merit to it. Sonia Schickman, thank you so much, Sonia, for that analysis and being with us for this breaking news. Again, Linda O'Leary found not guilty in that fatal boat crash.